Scientists have struggled to develop treatments for COVID-19, but researchers at UC San Diego think one solution is quite literally growing on trees. They just launched the first FDA-approved clinical trial to see if certain mushrooms can help fight the disease. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in-depth to explain how the approach has ancient roots. There are about 12,000 known species of mushrooms, and researchers at UC San Diego have honed in on two found in North American forests that might work as an early stage treatment for COVID. We think mushrooms may have the ability to reduce the severity of COVID and help people, help protect them if they get sick from developing such a severe problem that they need to go to the hospital. Dr. Gordon Sachs leads the Krupp Center for Integrative Research at UCSD. Mushrooms have been used for thousands of years in Greek medicine, in Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine. They are really uh, an important medicine from the earth for humans. The first antibiotic, penicillin, came from a mushroom. This is one of the most well-studied immune-supporting mushrooms in the world. With help from mushroom expert Paul Stamets, they got their hands on this small mushroom called turkey tail and this big one called agaricon. They're not magic mushrooms. They have no psychoactive effects, but the scientists suspect they're loaded with a number of antiviral compounds. Agaricon, one of the mushrooms that we're studying, has an effect against a range of viruses in the test tube, in the, in the, in the, in the Petri dish in the laboratory, against pox viruses, Coxsackie viruses. Also herpes virus and Ebola. In recent years, compounds in other mushrooms have been shown to slow replication of polio virus and fight influenza. Dr. Sachs says it's all because viruses and bacteria can affect mushrooms too, so the fungi formed defenses. They evolved all kinds of amazing antimicrobial defenses against viruses in particular, and we can benefit from what they have produced. The medicines they contain within us can get conveyed to us when we ingest them. And that's not all. Studies have shown mushrooms can boost the immune system, particularly helper T cells that affect antibodies. Dr. Sachs is planning to launch a second FDA authorized study in the next few weeks on whether taking mushrooms can stimulate a stronger response to the COVID-19 vaccines. So why aren't more scientists studying this? Unlike pharmaceuticals, there really isn't as much of a proprietary interest in natural substances. I mean, you can't, you know, pharmaceutical companies can't make the same kind of money on selling mushrooms as they can on drugs. For now, Dr. Sachs is looking for 132 volunteers recently diagnosed with COVID for the study on mushrooms as a treatment. They'll take capsules of mushroom powder three times a day for up to two weeks to see if they can keep people out of the hospital. Derek Stahl. ABC 10 News. This phase one clinical trial is taking part at both UCSD and UCLA. For more on how you can take part, go to 10news.com.